In mechanical engineering we take a lot of physics and we take a lot of maths, but we actually apply them to a problem. It's not a pure theoretical exercise anymore. We have problems that we want to solve and we want to use those skills to solve them. Mechanical engineering leads you into lots of different jobs. So you could work in the autosport industry, working on cars, working on motorbikes. You could work in refrigeration companies, you could work for water companies. You can work for pretty much anyone that has any sort of mechanical system at all. So that includes aerospace, naval architecture, mechatronics, manufacturing. So that's why the school is really great because it covers all of that with the one degree. Mechanical engineering to me uh, is, a, is an area where you can do just about any type of research that you want. So, for instance, we're standing up here on the solar energy lab, so if you get into mechanical engineering, you can do energy research. And generally, the problems that you're looking at, uh, at least I think, are, end up being multidisciplinary. So you need to know some, something about elect electricity, physics, chemistry, um, heat, heat transfer is what we do up here, and fluid mechanics. And all those things come into play whenever you're trying to solve uh, mechanical engineering problems. One nice thing about it is that students can go into any field of research that, or uh, any industry that they want to work in. Mechatronics is a natural progression from the uh, base of mechanical engineering. So mechatronics is actually taking the sort of the physical application of mechanical engineering and adding a lot of electronics and a lot of software to it to uh, give it a sort of intelligence to basic machines. Manufacturing engineers are across any conceivable industry, all the way from intangible things like investment banking to making bricks. We design processes, so if someone comes along and they say, oh look, we want to make our beer cheaper, but also taste better, we look at that and we look at the technical details in their production line. So we look at making a product to specification and making a product, more importantly, to cost and bringing that to people's tables so they can enjoy a very nice tasty beverage on a Friday night. I'm an aerospace engineer and the reason I got into that in the first place was because I just thought planes were really cool and that's why I decided to study it at university. Later on in my undergraduate degree I got really into aerodynamics because I love Formula One cars. The aim of the game is to go faster on the racing track and win a race. Underlying all of that is mechanical engineering. To me, mechanical engineering is learning about how things work and then applying it to design new and better products. I am investigating the interaction between a shockwave and a flame. It is hoped that this may be applied to extinguishing bushfires in the future with supersonic aircraft. I tell people what I'm doing and their lights, eyes light up because it's exciting. Yes. <laughs>